Alright guys, so this is going to be the Coboard motherboard replacement video. This is the brand new one I just got sent from DJI IR, sorry, Co-Wheel. And I mean, just look at the difference of these motherboards. This one is completely sealed, waterproof, looks very different. And then take a look at this motherboard right here. This is why this failed. There is no protective coating on this one and any moisture, any dirt, anything that gets in there, it's gonna fry it, mine fried. And look at this, this is all silicone or plastic or something. And that's just a much better design. This is how they should have done it to begin with. And this is why I have to replace this one because this one right here, it, it, one little drop of water and it's useless. So let's see if I can get this apart. Hopefully it's just plug and play. Got my soldering iron right here. Let's take a look. So I'm not really sure. It looks like these unscrew. Yeah, nice and easy. Let's get out all the old components. A lot of it's just plug and play. A lot of clips in here, like you would see on like a motherboard or something. I'm just gonna unclip everything I see. Although these wires right here are soldered, so that's gonna You know what, yeah, I'm not really... No, you know what, these come pre-soldered right here for the connector, so I could just replace this whole base unit. It should be as simple as one, two, three, let's see. Let's just get all these connector pins out. And they did make it simple, I mean, good for them, they made it simple. I think they should really be selling replacement motherboards if this is going to happen to everyone that doesn't have the protective coating motherboard because I'm not going to be the only one with this problem. Um, these are hot glued in there, so it's going to be a little tricky to get out. I might need it. You know, maybe my soldering iron will just get that glue out of there. glue that's just looks like a, you know like a glue gun glue holding it in place comes right out so you just want to heat up that glue I don't want to fuck up these connectors heat up that glue to get these connectors loose ruining my soldering iron, but you know what? That's what rubbing alcohol's for. Yeah, this one's still... Still does not want to come out. Ooh, that's not good. All right, well that entire pin just ripped off the board. Just gonna be a problem. Get my pliers. Uh, yeah, this one. Does not wanna come out. I don't know why that doesn't want to come out. Wish I could get some leverage in there. No, let's get this glue out of here. There we go. See, look at that. Just comes right off the, the old motherboard. I don't like that design. Uh, now it looks like the only thing still attached here is an LED light. And that, that's soldered, that is soldered on. So let's, there we go. That 
is removed. And that's it, that, that's the old motherboard that fried. Uh, I hope it's as simple as plug and play. Let's try and get that new one in here. Let's see if I remember where everything goes. So that's gonna go like that. Which makes sense. Yeah, things. So that goes like that, okay. All right, it looks like the motherboard's actually a different layout. It's actually reverse. Um, But we'll still try to get everything in there. You know what? I might not even bother. Well, I could splice this LED. Yeah, I might come back to that. I don't need the LED functionality right this second. So it looks like we have green, yellow, and blue. So let's put green in the green. Just push that in. Yellow goes into yellow, push that in. Blue goes into blue, push that in. Uh, let's do the same procedure over here. Blue into blue. Yellow into yellow. Green into green. Hub motors are connected. Now we have these additional circuits. Let's see, this is the, well, you know what? This is the transistor radio. I am going to have to, this is the RF transmitter. I'm gonna have to splice these two wires together. Otherwise, the remote is not going to work. And there's not a lot of room to work in here. I hope I'm putting this in the right way. But that looks in. Not a lot of room in here. You know what? I think I got glue on there. Let's see if I can get that glue out of there. Without ruining it. Alright, there we go. Yeah, these wires just twist and make it really hard to insert. No, nope, thought I had it. You know what? I think that's backwards. break these wires those are gonna be very difficult to repair and there we go that's in that is in looks like there's one more port that's gonna go right here plug and play now I just need some solder see this doesn't I got to strip this wire I'm gonna need some solder.
put some solder on this end. good for soldering. Let's just solder these two together. There's a nice little blob. Uh, let me find some electrical tape. where my electrical tape is, but just for the sake of trying to get this thing back working, I am going to just use some duct tape. And guys, I think that's it. I mean that. Getting all these electronics back in there to fit nicely is gonna be a pain in the ass. But I'm gonna go plug it in. See if that does anything and hopefully get this thing working once again. Let me go get the charger. Power supply is on. Let's see if anything happens here. I really hope so. I really want this thing to work. It's on. There's a blue light. It's working. Let's see if we can get that battery in there. I'm gonna unplug it just in case. Getting these, this battery in is like the hardest part. I can't tell if it's turning on. I'm hoping the battery's just dead. It was at 28 volts when I checked it with my multimeter. I don't know, do we have anything? See anything happening? It's on. The lights are green. It's working. Um, I just need to figure out how to pair this new remote controller, and it looks like the co-wheel has been brought back to life. <laughs> 